Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm out at my granny camper, a trailer I bought to spend time with my grandchildren in the lower 48. The only complaint I have is that the weather has been extremely cold. So staying in the trailer has been challenging. You can't keep your trailer as warm as your home as easily. So what I did to make my time more comfortable, I bought a Dyson, which is a heater, an air filter, and it also cools because it has a fan. It's not an air conditioner, if you're thinking it can air condition, but it can definitely cool you because it has a fan if you wanted to run it without the heat on it. Let me show you the features of this Dyson heater because it works fantastic. When you buy it, all you have to do is plug it in and it's ready to go. It has a button down here at the bottom that you can turn it on, but it also has a very handy remote control. And the nice thing about the remote control is there's a magnetic part on the top and the remote control will is stored there and so it's easy to keep track of it. You aren't going to lose it. The control panel faces down on the magnetic surface and so you aren't going to accidentally be bumping it and changing the controls but it's easy to just pick it up and adjust it if you wanted to let me show you some of the features of this fan you can see on the remote control it has an on it has a cool and the red is for the heat so I'm going to turn it on to the heat and then you can control the amount of air that you want blowing out toggle it up and there you can hear it it's on the highest or you can toggle it down so even at the highest speed it's not very noisy then it has an oscillating feature push this button and you can see that it will go back and forth and it goes I think it's about 70 degrees that it oscillates and it's easy to move so that you get it oscillating the air that you want. Then you can oscillate it in a narrow or a wide pattern, depending on the area where you're sitting. It also has a timer and a sleep button. Another nice feature is you can put this up on a table, you can put it on the floor, but then you can also adjust it you can tip it to go down, you can tip it to go up, and you can adjust it however you want it so that it's blowing the heat where you want it. And you can control the zone. If I want it blowing up, but I want it blowing just on me, then I can turn off the oscillating. You do have to point the remote at the control at the bottom. And then you can adjust it to the where you want it to be. You can have as much air or as little air and as much oscillation or not as you want. It's very simple to control. The other thing I like about it is because my trailer is small, but I spend time here with my little dog Teddy and my grandchildren, nothing on it gets hot. It's been running now and there's not a single hot surface on here. There are no blades. The air is just blowing out through here. There are no blades to catch anything or hurt anybody. There's nothing that can catch, burn, or uh, in any way endanger any of the little ones that spend time with me, which is very important to me. I want my trailer to be warm, but most of all it needs to be safe. The Dyson has a built-in air filter and it's inside this area and so all the air goes in through here and then it comes out through this oval area and you can feel it blowing out nicely. <laughs> shh, Teddy, shh. The base is pretty heavy and I think that's to keep it from tipping over. But if it does tip over, then it automatically turns off. And you can see it went off then it's easy to set it right back up and turn it back on. There is a built-in HEPA filter. Let me show you how easy it is to change. You always want to unplug it before you do something like that, but there's a button here on either side. You see the button? You push the two buttons and just pull up the cover. And the filter is inside the cover. And you can see where all the air intake is here. And look, 
I've been using this for a few weeks and it doesn't even have any dust on here at all because it's being captured in the HEPA filter. See where there's a little arrow? You want to press down on those areas to release the filter. And you can see it's very sturdy and well made. I've been running this for a couple of weeks and I was surprised how clean it still looks because you just never know what's outside when you're camping. So the filters are supposed to last about one year. Then when you want to replace it, you just stick it back in. Make sure it snaps back into place. Then line up. Oops. Line up your knobs. Line up the buttons. And press it back into place. And it's all back secure. Okay. Then plug it in and it's ready to use again. When you're camping in your RV, if you're plugged into shore power, there's no reason to use your propane heater because then you have to keep getting more propane. Whereas your shore power, you may have already paid for your site or it's plugged in at your home when you're getting ready to go. And so it's easy to plug this in, get it going, heat up the whole unit and keep it nice and comfortable. Yes, it is a little inconvenient to have an extra gadget around in a small trailer, but it certainly has paid off for me. I'm certainly glad that I have it. It's working great keeping my trailer with the warmth that I want while I'm keeping my little dog and my grandchildren safe. So if you're looking for a space heater that's also an air filter and has a fan for cooling, check out the Dyson. It certainly is very well made. It works great. And it's something that I'm very pleased with my purchase. There's a page in the directions if you want to set up a Dyson Link app. I'm not an app person, so that's not something that I cared about. But if you're interested in it, the directions seem clear. And maybe that's something that you would enjoy using. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.